X situ machine perfusion is a technology used to preserve organs for transplantation and is performed between the procurement and transplantation of the donor organ to improve graft outcomes. Well, a newer technique is taking that a step further. Transplant surgeon at Baylor University Medical Center, Dr. Angie Wall, is here now in studio to discuss the new advances with normothermic regional perfusion. Pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here. Of course. All right, let's start with a little bit of an explainer. How long has this technique been around and what exactly is it? Okay, so first off, this is actually not a new te technique at all. The first, the first time that this technique was used in the United States was in 2004 at the University of Michigan and used for liver and kidney only donors. Um, it's been around in Europe since the early 2000s as well and has been the standard of practice in countries like Spain now for at least a decade. Okay. How does this differ from existing machine perfusion? So the way that this works is that we utilize a modified cardiopulmonary bypass circuit. Okay. And what we do is we take that circuit and we, uh, we perfuse the organs in the body. And so instead of having a machine where you take the liver out and the kidneys out and the heart out and you put each one on a machine, what you do is you put cannulas into the donor after they've been declared dead and then you use one machine to perfuse all the organs that you are going to be assessing for transplantation. Okay. So that's how it's different in the way that you go about it. The other thing is that you immediately perfuse the organs with, um, with oxygenated blood as you start the procedure rather than doing a cold flush, mm -hmm. taking the organs out and having a warm ischemic injury followed by a cold ischemic injury and then trying to rehabilitate the organs on the machine afterward. And so what does this do for success rates? It's incredible, it's, it's game changing. So I'm an abdominal transplant surgeon, so I very much focus on liver and kidneys. So in terms of liver transplantation, the biggest Achilles heel of donation after circulatory death is biliary complications and specifically ischemic cholangiopathy. The problem with ischemic cholangiopathy is that it causes the bile ducts on the inside of the liver to basically um, not work mm -hmm. well. And so when you have that, um, ultimately over time, you end up having to retransplant a lot of those patients. With normothermic regional perfusion, the rates of ischemic cholangiopathy are exceedingly low. They're the same as from brain dead donors. And so what we're doing is we're able to use grafts from DCD donors and not have that Achilles heel complication and not have to retransplant patients. And it's really incredible. And then from a kidney transplant standpoint, the rates of delayed graft function are substantially lower with normothermic uh, regional perfusion as compared to rapid recovery. So we did a study comparing those two in the US cohort. Um, and what we found is that normothermic regional perfusion was associated with about a 12% rate of DGF versus 40% in, uh, in matched um, donors. Wow, that's encouraging. It's amazing. Very. Is this organ specific or can it be attributed to a wide range All of organs. transplants? Okay, yeah. How do you see machine perfusion developing into the future? So what I think is that you have to have like building blocks of machine perfusion. So my hope is that we start with, um, we start with NRP as the baseline procurement method for every single DCD donor, because you don't burn any bridges. You, you start with the best operation on the donor and then what you do is you stack whatever technology you want on that so if you need if you need a longer preservation time probably end ischemic hope which is the the um, the cold perfusion devices those are probably going to pair the best with NRP um, and that's been shown in some European studies so you can okay. extend your cold time with an end ischemic hope if you need to assess the organ longer or if you have organs that you want to intervene on when we get therapeutics, then normothermic machine perfusion would be the adjunct that you would want to use with, um, with NRP. Okay. And so I see it as like having a menu of amazing options mm -hmm. to take care of the organs in the best way that we can and to pair the technology with whatever we're doing with the recipient. So retransplants, you're gonna have a longer, it's gonna take longer to get the liver out you're gonna to wanna to put it on a machine mm -hmm. so that you make sure that when that liver goes in, it's in the best shape possible. Right. So I think it's gonna be stacking of technology. Fascinating, well thank you so much for of all of your course. work and all your research and thank you for your time today. Absolutely, thank you.